Hello and welcome back to Living a Best Life. My name is Keith and today I want to go over four reasons why you may want to pick up the GoPro Hero 12 Black if you don't own one already. Now when GoPro first announced the Hero 12 Black back in September, they released a, about a nine minute video of all the new features and my first thought was, thank you GoPro, you just saved me $400 because uh, there was not, the camera was the exact same size, the exact same body. There was no increase in resolution. It was still 5.3K. There was really nothing new with the exception of a few things, which I'll go over, but it was essentially the same camera. At least that's the way it looked on the surface. So I knew right away that they had saved me because I wasn't obviously going to spend $400 on a new camera when I have the Hero 11 and I'm perfectly happy with it. So, but then I started to watch some of the YouTube videos and started to see some of the features and, and really actually started to determine that there were some things there that actually meant something to me. Now the first new feature that they brought to the Hero 12 that actually got me a little excited and made me start thinking about maybe picking this camera up was the Max Lens Mod 2.0. Now I was, hoping that maybe this Max Lens Mod 2.0 would be usable on the Hero 11 and I wouldn't have to buy a new camera, but that was not going to be the case. So if you wanted the Max Lens Mod 2.0, you had to get the Hero 12 Black. The cool thing about the Max Lens Mod, I really like it because we do a lot of biking and hiking and I really, really like that extra wide field of view. And also the fact that when you have that Max Lens Mod on, you can rotate your camera basically at any way you go and even completely all the way around and your horizon is going to stay completely level. And that's such a great feature. We used it extensively. The only downfall was that when you did use the Max Lens Mod 1.0 that your resolution went down to 2.7K. Now the brand new Max Lens Mod 2.0 actually does 4K 60 frames per second and that is absolutely fantastic. I've taken it out with the Max Lens Mod on and gotten some really really good footage and you can take a look at that here. absolutely love the way that footage looks with that that new max lens mod it's really really fantastic i take it i take it with me almost every time i go out i don't always use it but if we're going to be out on a trail i really do like to bring all of that in from the sides because it really makes your videos look a lot cleaner so the max lens mod 2.0 was the first thing that really made me want the hero 12 black now the second thing was uh, the addition of HDR to the Hero 12. I like shooting in HDR. I do it a, a lot on my Osmo Action 3. Um, I do like HDR. I think sometimes the footage does just look a little bit better. I don't always use HDR, but I, I do like to use it. So that was another feature that I thought that they added that was, was really cool. They didn't have to add it. And I went out and I've shot some footage in HDR, and you can see that here. Looking over here to the left, 
that's actually the main house that the residents lived in and it's still pretty much intact there's some furniture on the front porch but like i said nobody lives here the only thing the only activity here at all is when the caretakers come out and mow the grass and check on the building now the one of the caretakers did tell me that i guess just out of meanness some kids come out here and and knock windows out of this house i'm not sure why a lot of people around here don't even know this place exists but it's such a such a beautiful place i really enjoy it so I do think that the HDR footage looks really good. I do like to use it a lot, especially on bright days. I, it, it's not very good in, in low light situations or cloudy days, but I do like using it on, on bright sunny days. So I think that's a great feature that they added, the, the addition of HDR. Now the third and possibly the most important feature that they added with the uh, Hero 12 has to do with the media mod. Now, the media mod is very important to me. I pretty much keep my GoPro in it all the time. And the reason being that is, I think the audio that comes out of the mics on the media mod sounds a whole lot better than what comes from the stock mics on the camera. And I would say that in most cases, I think it's better than any, any built-in audio on any action camera. So, there was one caveat though, the fact that when you went out with your media mod that, and you were filming things in front of you and you had the front facing mic on and you wanted to do some narration or some voiceover, that your audio from the rear does not come through very well because you're on the front mic. And consequently, when you were had it on the back mic and you were walking and talking and then you had some something in front of you then it wouldn't pick that up very well. You had to choose between the rear and the front mic and you had to go into the settings to do it. So it wasn't very intuitive or very easy to do. You had to stop recording, go into the settings, flip the mic to the front or to the back. But that all changed with the Hero 12. So now you can actually use the front and rear mics at the same time. And this is absolutely huge because if you don't want to use an external mic or a, a wireless mic, then I think the, the, the audio from the media mod front and rear mics is, is very, very solid and very usable as long as you stay within three or four feet of the camera. Now, when you get to where you're further away than that, you may want to use a external mic, which that's another great thing about the media mod. You do get that, 3.5 that you can use uh, to use the uh, external mics like the DJI mic and the, I use the Rode Wireless Me and the DJI mic with mine from time to time. But that's really, really, I'll give you an example of, of what it sounds like. So I am now recording from behind the mic as if I would be talking about something that's in front of me like my wife's Halloween or fall decorations. So this is the sound coming from the rear mic. Now, if I was to turn the camera around, then that I wanted to actually record myself, you're gonna notice a big drop in the audio because the mic is set to the rear mic. So now, same, same video, but now I have the mic set to front and back, which you cannot do on anything other than the Hero 12. And you'll see that when I turn the camera around and start talking towards the camera, that you don't see the drop off in audio. The audio is just as strong from the front as it is from the rear. And that is huge because that means you don't have to go into the camera and actually change the settings just for that one moment. So this is a huge addition for me. So that's just a little demonstration of how the Hero 12 has improved for the media mod, if you like to use the media mod. 
And I can tell you that is a huge thing for me because when I go out filming, now I don't have to stop, go into the settings, flip the mic from the front to the rear. I just have it set to front and rear all the time. And basically whenever I want to do something, I can turn the camera any way I want and still get that quality audio. So that was a really big thing for me. And I knew it would be nice if they could have done this as a firmware update. But I think we all know they're trying to sell a new camera. They're not going to update the firmware and give us all of those new features from the Hero 12 to say the Hero 11 or the 10. So it's a big feature for me and I'm really glad they added it. And it was definitely one of the big bullet points for me. And of the four new features that they added, and there's a lot of them, but the four that kind of stuck out to me, the fourth one was probably the longer battery life. They, they say that you get up to two times the battery life that you got before. And I was really, really skeptical of this and I had to see it to believe it. So the first time I took my GoPro out with a fully charged battery, it really surprised me of how long the battery stayed up in the 70s and 80s as far as percentage goes. Usually when I go out with my GoPro, it doesn't take long at all. And my battery icon has turned yellow and it's down in the 30s or 40s. I mean, I rarely got any anything more than, you know, 45 minutes out of a out of a GoPro battery. And I've even got quite a few of the Enduro batteries. But the first time I went out with this one, it really, really showed the difference. I mean, I, I, I filmed for about two hours. Now I did turn the camera off and on every time I stopped, but I wound up at about 67% when I got through. So another really, really big improvement that they made. And I know that it was at the expense of probably GPS and uh, some other voodoo that they did to, to get that longer battery life. But I'm, I'm very glad that they did it. So so that's the four primary things I think that tipped the scale for me to pick up the GoPro Hero 12. That's certainly not everything, but those are the four things that I think that really, really turned my head and said, hey, I like the improvements they made here. With the Max Lens Mod 2.0 and the HDR, the improved battery life as well as the improved functionality with the media mod and being able to use both front and rear mics at the same time. All of these things were pretty big for me and certainly things that made a difference to help me in my enjoyment of this camera. And that's certainly not all of the improvements that they made, but it's the ones that actually resonated with me the most. Uh, the fact that you can now use uh, Bluetooth earbuds as a, as a mic, you can use uh, other Bluetooth accessories so that's big at some point hopefully they'll add more devices that you can use with it but for now the fact that they just did that it actually made a pretty big difference with using the volta uh, with the the gopro before you had to actually sync the volta to the gopro as a wireless device and now it actually syncs as a as a bluetooth device and it syncs almost immediately and it stays synced. I remember every time I used to use the Volta with the Hero 11, it would never find it. I would have to go in half the time and sync it back. Well, this, I can go two or three days now without using this, turn it on and it will turn my GoPro on. So it stays in the list of Bluetooth devices, which again is another great quality of life improvement for this camera. One thing I can say though, is if you have a Volta, and you have the media mod and if you have the max lens mod 2.0 you have one powerhouse of an action camera and you have enough juice to get out there and stay all day long whether it be on a trail or on a bike or or wherever you are outside this camera is going to stay with you all day because of all of that battery that you got uh, it's a great little camera i love the accessories that i have with it I'm, I'm tickled to death, actually. I, I passed on the DJI Osmo Action 4 for the very reason that it didn't offer too many improvements either. And I'm glad I made this choice as opposed to the Osmo Action. Although I love my Osmo Action 3, I just couldn't see spending the money on the 4. Now, I do use the 3 quite a bit. Still love that camera. But 
this video is about the GoPro and that's what I wanted to say. So if you enjoyed the video, you got something out of it, leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe. I'm still trying to grow my channel, growing a little bit here and there every day. I enjoy doing this, so I'm going to keep doing it. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.